Hi everybody, I'm Kirsty Mickey from Nao Nails. In this video, we're going to do some mermaid nails. I'm going to use gel polish and some chrome for that. A little bit of mylar as well. Let's crack on with it. So I've already created a almond shaped nail. You can do this on any shaped nail really. It's just that we already have an almond shaped nail. I'm just gonna wipe over this nail with some acetone because I just wanna make sure it's all nice and clean before I put any gel polish on. And I'm using three different gel polishes for this because I'm so greedy. And these are all from the glitter range. So the Urban Graffiti Gel Polish Glitter Sparkly range. They are very beautiful. And these are the colours. We have this one and this is that colour. And then we have this gorgeous pink. And then this one has big particles and little particles just to add a little bit more texture. I'm going to start with the turquoise first. And it's turquoise but it's got like a gold kind of sheen to it as well when you move it it kind of like changes a little bit so i'm going to do two coats of this color Now with the pink, I'm just going to go down the centre and I'm just going to blend the side here so they blend into each other. Just sweeping, it doesn't have to be a perfect blend, it just needs to be slightly more blended than it is right now. So we get a little bit more dimension to the nail. Cure that. And then with the more chunkier glitter, I'm just going to pull that down the middle. Now you can see this glitter also has some of the turquoise in it as well, so it, it goes really well, I feel. And we're going to pop that in the lamp. So I've got some of the mylar sheets, so I'm literally just going to cut up um, some shards of that. Completely random. At the minute, there's a competition on Facebook, on our Nao Nails Facebook, and people are naming the colours of the names of the names. Colours of the gels. gels, that's it. My God, this cold is really getting to my head. Um, because they have numbers and they have no names and people can name all the new colours. And we've just checked if any of these have been named all yet. And this is really random and we don't know how this happened, but this one has actually already been named and it's called Mermaid Tears. How apt is that? Because we're doing a mermaid nail? I had no idea that it was already named. So that's cool. So mermaid tears. So <laughs> oh, the mermaid is just crying. I don't know why it would cry though. Somebody, some nasty man broke in the heart of the mermaid and made her cry. Nasty merman. So now I've cut up the mylar sheets. We're going to get little bits of those and pick them up and place them on to the sticky surface. Rub that down. This is just going to add even more dimension. So I'm just rubbing them down with a dry brush. It helps them to sit a little bit flatter. Okay. 
I'm going to seal that in with the Urban Graffiti Gel Polish Top Coat. I'm going to do two coats of that. So the reason that I'm going to do two coats is because, can you see, it's a little bit uneven because of the mylar. So let's just smooth it out. So you can see that that on its own actually looks really nice and you could you could keep it like that and it's just mermaid colours I suppose but we're going to make it even more fabulous by using the hollow stickers as a template and we have the scales here so I'm going to pop that onto the nail use which bit I'm going to line up the scales down the middle of the nail. And then I can secure the rest of the sticker. Make sure you go right down to the sides and the tip. Now I'm going to get the mirror chrome. So this is the silver mirror chrome and I'm going to rub that and because we're only doing one coat of the mirror chrome when we put the layer of top coat on you will see some of the glitter through the chrome which will give a really cool effect so I'm just rubbing that in I'm going to use a melt blown pad just to take off any of the excess particles of chrome. And I'm going to pull away the stencil sticker. can see the scales and we're going to put the top coat on obviously we need to seal that in because obviously it will wash away I'm going to pop that into the lamp so there you have it a sparkly gorgeous mermaid nail easy to do very easy. I mean, you could just use a one colour background if you want to, but I want you to do something a little bit different in the background. And obviously, the mermaid scales on the top. There you are, guys. I hope you enjoyed that mermaid-inspired nail. Easy to do with a little bit of gel, polish and chrome. Don't forget, all the products we've used today are in the description box below. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye! Flop a flop a flop, flop a flop flop, flop a flop a flop a flop.